But you might want to get honest with yourself. Like instead of doing this, I don't want to be a millionaire. I want to be this. Do you really? Because you can make it happen. I had two habits that that were always a telltale sign for something's wrong in Mel's life. I would rearrange the furniture in the house, and I would spend money that I didn't have. It was almost like a way to pretend my problems weren't real. And we do the exact same thing with booze, by the way. We do the exact same thing with food, by the way. That reaching for something that you know isn't good for you becomes the pattern that you repeat when you feel like shit, when you feel like you have no power, when you feel like things are out of control, when you feel down on yourself, you reward yourself with those things temporarily. And so again, write down your goals. So what are the boundaries with money? What do you need to make? What do you want to put away? Be realistic in the beginning so that you can achieve it. Figure out what you need to do in terms of if you were actually doing that shit. I've always wanted a six pack and I don't have it. And I don't know, and I've never had it. And when I, I finally stopped complaining about it when I got honest about what it was going to require. Oh, I'm dead serious. Dead serious about this. At my, you know, at, at 49, with my affinity for alcohol and my love of carbs and my distaste for exercise, <laughs> I have a small problem on my hands if I want a six pack. So if you were to go forward, right, and think, okay, well, if a year from now I had a six pack, what would, what would that actually, what would my day-to-day -day life look like? Woo. <laughs> and you can get very clear that you're not committed to that. And then you can stop beating yourself up for the shit you never intend on doing, right? <laughs> so um, what I realized is I can spend four minutes a day in a hotel room or in my bedroom doing planks, and my arms look great, and everybody else will think the rest of my body's in shape. <laughs> and we're good. We're good. Yes. <laughs> it works like a charm. So you might want to get honest with yourself. Like, instead of doing this I don't want to be a millionaire. I want to do this. Do you really? Because you can make it happen. You actually can. Look at all the idiots that are making money. You can make money. <laughs> but you're going to have to roll the clock forward just a year and say, OK, if I'm able to put $1,000 a month against my debt, I'm able to make X amount of dollars a month. I'm able to put X amount of dollars in savings. What do I need to be doing a year from now to make that happen? And what are those habits that are there a year from now that I don't have right now? And then roll yourself back to this moment, just like I explained with exercise. Do I actually not want to have a Manhattan tonight? Nope. Did I want to go to the gym today? Nope. Did I, am I, am I willing to not eat what I ate for, nope. Am I willing, I did my four minutes, my arms are looking really good. But so bring it back and then you will have the formula for pivoting at any moment. You time travel forward a year. You investigate the patterns that you have that are giving you the result that you want, and then you back your ass up to right here, right now. And you decide, am I willing to do this now? If I'm willing, then five, four, three, two, one through all the bullshit excuses that are gonna be there when you're trying to override your operating system. That's how you do it. Or you have the reality check like I had, which is, oh shit, I just like to bitch. <laughs> I don't intend on changing, so why don't we get this off the plate and let's focus on the things that I am actually committed to.